Hey girl, sending you love and saying hello and welcome to my Total Beginner's Guide. Now, I have posted a video teaching you how to start your knitting, teaching you how to long tail cast on for this beautiful line here. And I also taught you how to knit, how to garter stitch, which if you just knit, 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 your stitches will have this nice wavy texture. I also taught you how to purl. If you knit and purl alternating, you'll have this beautiful V texture. And now I need to teach you how to finish your knits. Now let's say that you have this big, nice, scarf or a dishcloth or whatever girl you get to choose whatever project it is and you need to finish you want to now cast off so that you can take your project off of your needle right now i cannot casting off is so super simple i'm going to teach you this and you're going to be like what that's it yes girl that's it okay so i have knitted and purled alternating and i have this beautiful stocknet stitch, as you can see. And then again, on the back, we have this wavy texture. So this is a knit row. And how I'm going to do this is very simple. So we're gonna knit two stitches. We'll knit the first one, just a nice, easy knit. Oh, let me make sure I'm in focus, because girls, we gotta be perfect for this, okay? Knit one and then knit two okay so how i like to explain this next part is like loop frog you know when you were a kid so let's say that this is you this first stitch is you and the second stitch is your friend you are going to leap frog over your friend so there's more than one way to do this the first way you can with your hands grab this stitch grab yourself so you kind of have to pull it here kind of make it a little bit bigger and leapfrog over your friend. You see how you leapfrog over your friend? But with this, you're not only gonna leapfrog over them, you're going to go over the needle, okay? So let's see this again. You have this stitch and you're gonna bloop, leapfrog over them and off of the stitch. Now, we only have one stitch on our needle, okay? So we just decrease. Let's knit another stitch because we need two on our uh, needle on this right hand side. And again, this is you. So let's leapfrog, kind of pull it here. Let's leapfrog over and off, leapfrog, boom. And now we only have one stitch. And we repeat that, girl, that's all you have to do to cast off. Now, there are different cast off methods. This is the most common and the easiest one that you will see. You pull here, leapfrog over and off. It's super simple, it's really not that hard. Now, and as you see, we're getting this nice beautiful line that will match our cast on. Something that you could do that I've seen um, that I don't do, but that you could do, here, sometimes I do it, not all the time, it depends. You can get your needle and take it through. So you're still leapfrogging, you're just using your needle to help. Um, so you can grab your needle and bring it, oops, let me move my hand, bring it over. See, I don't like this method, but you can bring that stitch over with the help of your needle. And of course, I'm on the struggle bus doing this here. And there, you just got rid of it. So you can use the needle to help, but girl, you really don't need to. Let me do that again. So you knit it, see if I can do it a little bit cleaner this time. I'm gonna take this back stitch, leapfrog over my friend and do that, okay? Either way, I like to pull. Um, but in my latest video, I think I used my needle. It depends on the yarn as well. If you have a really chunky yarn, it's kind of hard to pull. Um, it's easier just to do this, but either way, we are just leapfrogging over and over, okay? Very super simple to finish your project. This is also a way um, if you, let's say you're doing a project where you have to bind off some of the stitches and not all, this is what you will do as well. You leapfrog over your friend and then you have that here, okay? And we always want two stitches on the needle and then leap frog.
Okay, so now you're right here at the end. Look at that beautiful ending that we have that matches your cast on. Nice, beautiful ending here. Now, what do you do from here? It's the same thing, girl, same thing. Grab yourself, grab this last stitch <laughs> and leapfrog over your friend. Leapfrog over, okay? Pull your stitch. Now we only have one stitch. Go ahead and take your scissors. And depending on the project, um, for instance, if you're doing like a, a beanie or a hat, you'll want a really long tail because you're gonna sew with it. Um, if not, it can be a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna do this about there, okay? Easy thing that I like to do with your needle, pull, 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 and there you go. Okay, and then give it a nice tug. And you just created a nice knot, same as what we have here with your cast on. And girl, that's it. You see how beautiful this line is? You see how beautiful this cast on edge is? These edges are nice and beautiful and that's it. Casting off is that easy. And really, knitting is that easy. I showed you again how to cast on. I showed you how to garter stitch knit. I showed you how to purl and stocking net stitch. And girl, you should be able to go. I wanna see you make something cute, make something that is all yours, unique in your own, because it's not as hard as you think. Knitting is actually a lot easier than you think, even though people say, oh, crochet, it's a lot easier. I don't agree. I think knitting is super easy, even though we're using two needles, you can make all sorts of stuff. So go on, knit out your hearts, and please tag me in your projects. I want to see them. I want to know what you're knitting. I will continue this beginner's knitting series with other stitch patterns that you can do. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. But go on and knit your heart, knit your dreams, girl. I believe in you.